How to compare the similar fractions or fractions with different denominators? Strategy 1. Use same sized shapes or blocks. For example, the first rectangle is divided into three equal parts and the second into two equal parts. Since they have different number of equal parts, then all the fractions that we can generate from these two figures are the similar fractions. If I were to shade 1 out of 3 in the first figure and 1 out of 2 in the second, then we have a fraction for the shaded part for the first figure, 1 third, and the second, 1 half. Based on the shaded part, we can say that 1 third is less than 1 half or 1 half is greater than 1 third. Strategy 2. If the fractions are dissimilar, divide the blocks equally into similar number of equal parts to make the given fraction similar. In the first figure, the shaded part is one-third and in the second, it's one-half. Let us divide the two figures in such a way that they will have the same number of equal parts. How will we do it? In the first figure, let's divide each equal part into halves. And in the second figure, let's divide each equal part into thirds. Each of the figure has six equal parts. And since it has the same number of equal parts, which is six, six is called the least common denominator. And one third can be renamed as two over six. 2 over 6 is equivalent to 1 third. And 1 half can be renamed as 3 six, which is equivalent to 1 half. Since 2 six is less than 3 six, then 1 third is less than 1 half. Strategy 3. Make the fraction similar by finding its least common denominator or LCD without using blocks. Number one example, two-fifths and one-half are the similar fractions because they have different denominators. We have to make them similar by finding the LCD or least common multiple. By the way, multiples are products or results when you multiply a certain number by 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So the first few multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. For 2, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. Based on the list, our least common multiple is 10. 10 is now our least common denominator, which must be written at the bottom of the fraction bar. Now, let's find the equivalent fraction of 2 fifths with a denominator of 10. What will you multiply to 5 to get 10? Okay, of course, you have to multiply it by 2. Do the same with the numerator 2. Now, let's go to 1 half. What will you multiply to the denominator 2 to get 10? Okay, you multiply it by 5. Do the same with the numerator 1. Now, 2 times 2 is 4, 1 times 5 is 5. So we have 4 tenths and 5 tenths. They are now similar. Since 4 is less than 5, then 4 tenths is less than 5 tenths. And so with 2 fifths is less than 1 half. Because 5 6 and 7 nines have different denominators, then they are the similar fractions. So we have to make them similar. So first, find the LCD by listing the first few multiples of 6 and the first few multiples of 9. Based on the list, our least common multiple or LCD is 18. Place 18 under the fraction bar and then multiply 6 by a certain number to get 18. So what is it? Yes, it's 3. Multiply also 5 by 3. What will you multiply to 9 in 7 nines to get 18? Of course, by 2. Multiply also 7 by 2. 
So, 5 times 3 is 15. 7 times 2 is 14. So, we have 15 18 14 18 They are now similar. Since 15 18 is greater than 14 18 then 5 6 is greater than 7 9 Number 3. 2 thirds and 6 ninths are dissimilar fractions because they have different denominators. We have to make them similar by finding its LCD or LCM. List the first few multiples of 3, which are 3, 6, 9, 12, and so on. And multiples of 9, we have 9 and 18 and so on. So, obviously, our LCM or LCD here is 9, which must be put under the fraction bar. Now, look at 2 thirds. What will you multiply to the denominator 3 to get a denominator 9? Of course, it's 3. Do the same with the numerator 2. What will you multiply to 9 in 6 nines to get 9? Multiply the 1. So with the numerator. Or simply copy the numerator 6. So 2 times 3, we have 6. 6 times 1, we have 6. Since 6 is equal to 6, then 2 thirds is equal to 6 ninths. You might be thinking or saying that there is another way to do or to compare the similar fractions. Yes, there is. But the reason why I showed this way because this strategy is useful especially when you add and subtract dissimilar fractions. At this time, let us arrange the following dissimilar fractions such as 3 fourths, 7 twelfths, and 2 thirds in ascending order or from the least to the greatest. So, since the denominators are different, we have to make them similar by finding its LCD or LCM. So, these are the first few multiples of 4, 12, and 3. Based on the list, our LCD or LCM is 12. 12 is now our least common denominator. So, look at 3 fourths. What will you multiply to 4 to get 12? 3. Do the same in the numerator. Now, next, 7 twelfths, of course, you have to multiply both by 1. For 2 thirds, you have to multiply 3 by 4 to get 12. And do the same with the numerator. So, we get 9, 7, and 8 as our new numerators. So, by com comparing the similar fractions, we can now say that the smallest fraction among the 3 is... 7 twelfths, followed by 2 thirds, and then 3 fourths. Please be reminded to arrange the given original fractions. Number 2, 5 ninths, 3 fourths, and 2 thirds are to be arranged in descending order or from the greatest to the least. Since its denominators are different, then we have to make the fractions similar by finding its LCD or LCM. The first few multiples of 9 are the following. 4 and 3. By the way, you don't need to do the list if you memorize the times table of 4, 9, and 3. Okay, so based on the list, our LCD or LCM is 36. This becomes our new common denominator. So look at the given fractions above. What will you multiply to 9 in 5 nines? So we have 4. Do the same with 5. In 3 fourths, we have to multiply 4 by 9 to get 36. In 2 thirds, we have to multiply 3 by 12 to get 36. And so with 2, that must be multiplied by 12. So 5 times 4, we have 20 for the first fraction. And then 27 and then 24. Based on the similar fractions, our greatest or yeah, greatest fraction is 3 fourths followed by 2 thirds and then 5 ninths. For your practice, answer the following. 
A. Compare by writing less than, greater than, or equal to in the box. Indicate its LCD and its equivalent similar fractions below. Letter B. Arrange these fractions in ascending order. If you want to answer these exercises by yourself, please pause the video and replay it for you to know the answers. The following are the answers for these exercises. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet, and share this with your friends. Please watch out for our next video on writing mixed numbers as improper fractions. Again, whatever problems we have, whether in math or in life, there is always one or more solutions that the Lord faithfully provides. Certainly, we have a lot of differences, but there is always one thing that we have in common. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. This is Teacher Zilla reaching out to you from Cagayan de Oro, your Pinay math teacher.